so we got some door kickers action squad and uh, door kicker series in general news today it's pretty quick but I just wanted to go over it because it could be pretty big so they start by saying since the weekly challenge update last week we've been going through all feedback and bug reports making sure the game is as sharp as possible so keep those emails coming see below for change so that's that change this is here fixed not showing level reach in co-op infinite mode added slash change slash improved sounds various other small fixes and improvements to user experience now that's pretty standard just bug fixing stuff um it's good to hear that they're reading all the emails you guys send in listening to uh, bug reports listening to feedback and uh seems pretty quick since that weekly challenge update so you know, they have a good response time there and they then say however if we stay silent for a while it's because we want to keep ourselves completely focused on drumroll exciting new add-on with lots of content so uh, i'm pretty excited for this i like the sound of lots of content i hope this comes with a random mission generator i don't think the infinite mode counts as a random mission generator it's just stringing rooms to rooms and then layering those on top of each other i'd like to see a you know legitimate like house slash kill house builder like we had in the first door kickers game now it does say add-on which could mean free or a paid dlc but you know the game is 14 dollars if it's a paid dlc i don't think it would be more than five after that they say drum roll again releasing the game on consoles this is pretty clear cut i i'm excited to see the player base grow one thing i'm just worried about I'm pretty sure the first Door Kickers game isn't on consoles, so I don't know how big of an audience this would have. A significant amount of the audience of uh, Action Squad came from the original Door Kickers. So without that there, it would be interesting to see how how uh, much of a hit it is, but I'm just happy that more people get to see this game. You know, the more uh, more platforms it's on, the better. And also, I, I think cross-platform co-op would be really nice to have. Here's the big one. Drum roll again again. New games, maybe. So, two interesting things about that. One, new games. So multiple. And two, maybe. So, Dork Ears 2 is uh, pretty much confirmed for launching at some point. They're taking their sweet time, which I'm completely fine with. Rush game is bad forever, where a delayed game is eventually good. I'm, I'm completely... I'm really happy that they're taking their time on it. They've they've delayed it a lot, but I think it will be worth it. They're saying new games, so that likely means Door Kickers 2, 100%, and maybe another game. I, I think that's what the maybe here means. None of these have a date. They haven't given any dates for these. They're just saying, if you stay silent, this is what we're working on. We can't tell you yet exactly what new content and what consoles since that would spoil the surprise, but trust us with your patience and we will deliver. I do have a lot of trust for Kill House and uh, Pixel Shards doing a great job. So this could either be uh, another Door Kickers game, another Action Squad game. I, I don't know what they haven't given anything on this, but I'm just glad that it's a possibility. I, I'm just glad that they're trying to add things. They're trying to keep their audience happy. So that's pretty much it.